So, how to calibrate the CRO and use it for the experiment. Today, I will tell you how to uh, display waveform from function generator uh, to the CRO and even how to measure the amplitude and the frequency of the waveform. Before that, you should know uh, certain things on the CRO. So, there are uh, three sections on this CRO. So, there is a horizontal section in which we can move the waveform in horizontal direction. Position, you can see this position. So, if you want, if uh, in uh, your measurement, if you want to move the waveform in horizontal direction, you can use this knob. And uh, <coughs> so, there is a time division knob. So, you can change the width of the waveform by varying this. As you can see, uh, if you rotate it on right side, the uh, waveform becomes uh, bigger and bigger like in a uh, time division if you rotate like uh, left side uh, waveform becomes compressed so you can use this uh, for uh, movement of the waveform in a horizontal direction or uh, this one you can use for moving the waveform and uh, you will have these things in a vertical direction if you want to move the waveform in vertical direction so here is a knob by using that you can move the waveform in a vertical direction so before that if you want to use both the channels there is a uh, button here by which you can select which channel you want to display the waveform so here i have selected channel 1 this you can change if you want to display from channel 2 so you can change this or if you want to use both the channels then there is another mode knob in which you have to select if you want to use just one channel the point this knob to that point or if you want to use second channel do this or if you want to use both the channels you can keep it on a dual mode so okay <coughs> so now i have selected channel 1 here and i have uh, made this to this channel 1 so you are uh, you can see the clear waveform and i have connected this CRO probe to the function generator now if I select this mode to channel 2, see you cannot see the waveform because it is taking the signal for channel 2 but I have connected the signal for channel 1. So if you change this, if you connect your uh, channel 2 CRO probe, then you can see that waveform, see. Okay, here also if you select channel 1 then you will be able to see correct waveform which is not moving and it will be easy to take the readings. So this is uh, uh, what you should know regarding the CRO. Coming to the function generator. On the function generator, so there are the knobs to vary the frequency. If you change this you can observe on the CRO, you can change the frequency of the waveform and even you can tune, fine tune the frequency and there are different push buttons to select the frequency ranges so here even you can change the amplitude this with the help of this level knob you can change the amplitude of the waveform and you can even you can attenuate it there are two buttons to attenuate the that is the compress the or make the amplitude of the signal smaller so you can use these uh, push buttons also Okay, 20 dB attenuation, 40 dB attenuation is there. So right now I am not using any kind of attenuation. Okay, so this is used to vary the amplitude and these are used to attenuate the signal. And uh, this is for changing frequency and these push buttons for changing the frequency ranges. So here there is another push button by which you can select uh, to display whether it will display frequency or voltage if it is outside it will display frequency if you push it it will display what is the amplitude of the voltage so i'll keep it for frequency and uh, i'll keep one kilohertz frequency here approximately i'll keep one kilohertz frequency by wearing this knob okay now let us check how to measure the amplitude of the waveform. So here there is another knob to select whether you want to display uh, measure AC signal or DC signal or ground. So since we were uh, giving AC signal, uh, Q 
Keep it on the AC point. Okay. Now I will measure the amplitude. So to move this waveform up and down, what you will be doing? You will use this position, vertical position. So we have given the input to the second channel. So where is this knob? Okay. On this CRO display, you have to measure the divisions, number of divisions. So here it is covering how many divisions? One, two, three, and almost four, but it is less than one point is less. So it is 3.8. Then what you have to do? This is the number of divisions, 3.8 division. The waveform is covering from peak to peak. Then your volts per division is pointing to 2 volt. You have to multiply both. 3.8 divisions into 2. That will be our amplitude. Now how to measure the frequency? To measure the frequency you take the division uh, on a uh, x axis that is along the horizontal direction. Measure from one peak to another peak. To vary this or to move this waveform in a horizontal direction use this knob now as you can see it is exactly on this line from one peak to another peak it is covering exactly one division so one division and multiply it with this time division so it is pointing to one millisecond one into one millisecond is one millisecond if you want to find out the frequency it is f is equal to one divided by t so T we have got 1 millisecond, it is 1 kilohertz. Since you are giving 1 kilohertz from the function generator, so and you can measure, we have measured it, it is displaying 1 kilohertz. This is how you have to take readings for amplitude as well as frequency. So hope this helps uh, in uh, conducting experiments. Thank you.